Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create dynamic blocks for doors and windows. First I will show you what these blocks are and how they help us save time while drawing floor plans. So these are my dynamic blocks. This is my door block. Uh, you see that I can just pick up this block from here and place it in my plan wherever I want to like this or I can just put, pick it up or place it over here and I can just move it over here. So th these are called dynamic blocks. They save us time while installing them. Uh, I can even rotate this block like clicking just with one click like this or like this. I can just put it back over here. Suppose I don't want it here, I'll just pick it up and I'll place it somewhere over here. I can move my bed and make space for that. I want to rotate it. It's easy and fast. So these are called dynamic blocks. This is a door block that we are going to learn how to create and this one is our window block same we're going to just pick it up and place it in a plan where we want and we can even stretch it to make it bigger we can do it by putting uh, dimensions in it too i want to make it two feet uh, wider i'll just add two feet and press enter and i can centralize these if i want to like this so this is my window dynamic block so now let's learn how to make these dynamic blocks uh, this is my typical door that I have got. I have uh, exploded the door block and I am going to make it into a dynamic block now. First of all, I, I have to make lines on its sides, a 9 inch uh, lines of length 9 inch as my wall thickness is of 9 inch. I will just show it to you. This is 9 inch. I want to add walls in uh, doors in 9 inch thick walls. So I am going to make 9 inch thick lines on its side. Uh, L enter, 9 enter and I am going to centralize it over here same I will just copy and make a line over here as well and I am going to um, convert the layers same as this this uh, layer that is walls D so I am going to make these lines in walls D like this next I am going to ma make a wipeout I am going to type W H I P E O U T and press enter and I will make a line over here, uh, blo over here, and like this. This wipeout box is made. I'm just going to make it, uh, move it one inch outside from here, and one inch from here, one inch from here, one inch from here. Now you see this wipeout has uh, wiped out my block, so I'm going to uh, select the wipeout blocks and right click on it i will go to draw order and go to send to back now i will make a block of it select it all b enter door dynamic enter let's just check this block copy and uh, place it in the plan that i want to place it suppose i want to place it over here you see it's starting to wipe out but still it's not completely done uh, this is our block it's not completely done it's not flipping it's not uh, auto adjusting to the walls so let's work on that now let's uh, install the align option in this block double click on the block click ok and the block editor opens now I want you to make a reference line that we are going to delete later but just make it right now make this line go to parameters click on alignment click in the center and make a line like this make sure the arrow is downwards let's close the block editor save the changes and let's see if the changes have worked now you see this arrow has appeared I'm gonna pick up the block from this arrow and move it towards my plan and the door block has started to auto align I'm gonna pick it up from here and move it over here and it is auto aligning over here as well so uh, the align command is working now i'll just bring it back to where it was next up we're going to install the flip option double click on the block click ok i want you to delete the reference line that we made previously make another reference line over here in the center click on parameters click on flip make a line from the center point turn the ortho on click again now go to actions click on flip 
select the parameter select the objects press enter now let's check the block save the changes I'm going to pick it up and place it in my plan now place it like this and you see this option for flip has appeared click on it and the door is flipping now now we have the uh, horizontal flip I also want to add the vertical flip so let's do, do the same thing again double click on the block click OK and delete this reference line that we created go to parameters click on flip make a parameter line from this midpoint like this press enter go to actions click on flip click on the parameter press enter select the objects press enter close the block and check again save changes now let's move the block again and you see the block that I showed you in, in the start has, has been made it can flip and it can wipe out on its own and it can also align according to the plan so we have made our first dynamic block for doors now let's make our dyna dynamic block for the windows this is my typical window block I've exploded the block I'm going to set the layers of this block first uh, I'm going to make uh, convert these lines into the window layer window D and I'm going to convert these lines on the side into the walls layer wall D as these, la walls, these layers are in wall D so I want to have them in the same layer now I'm going to set the wipeout I'm going to type W H I P E O U T and press enter make a block once the block is complete press enter I want to make the block a little bit bigger turn on the ortho and press uh, one inch from this side one inch from this side sorry one inch from this side one inch towards the blow side and one inch on this side now the wipeout has completely vanished my uh, block so I'm going to click on the wipeout blocks and right click go to draw order I'm going to click on send to back and the wipeout has been sent to the back as you can see over here now I'm going to make this into a block select B enter window dynamic press enter uh, no don't read or define window dynamic 2 and press ok let's just check the block that it is it working or not I'm going to copy it and place it over here and the block is wiping out the old uh, wall layers so I'm just going to bring it back again I'm going to double click on the block click OK and the block editor opens I'm going to go to parameters linear select the linear param parameter like this go to actions stretch select parameter now I want to move it towards the right side so I'll keep my cursor on the right and this red X appears on the right one so I'm when this X appears I'm going to click now it is saying specify first corner of stretch frame so I'm going to I want to move it towards the right so I'm going to specify the right corner like this now it is saying select objects again I will select objects like this and I will press enter I'm going to close the block editor save the changes and see if it is working now or not yes the window is stretching like I want it to now I want to make uh, I want to stretch it towards the other side too so I'm going to repeat the, the same action again I'm going to open the block editor this time I'm going to give another parameter click on linear click on these edges I'm going to go to action click on stretch 
select parameter this time at the left block I want to stretch it towards the left so I'm going to click when this left cross is appearing I'm going to click specify corner of stretch frame I'll specify it like this select objects I'll select it like this press enter and close block uh, editor save changes and now it is stretching on both sides now the last thing I just want to add the align option open the block editor click OK go to parameters click on align make a line in the center make sure the arrow is downwards close block editor save changes let's check the block now let's see if it's aligning yes it's aligning and we have again the same kind of block that we had in the beginning so this is how we create dynamic blocks blocks that can auto auto align in plans and can are easier to install like this I hope you liked the video if you found it informative do like it and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon take care goodbye